guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for watching for today's video i'm going to be doing a review of this chi straightener it is super cute look at this color um i got this at target i think it was like 80 bucks i want to say and it's ceramic of course um usually i do straighten my hair with the straightener the one i had just like blew up on me so i'm gonna straighten my hair and actually curl it with this so you guys can see what this is like and see if you want to get it what i like about this i just really like the color and it goes up to 450 i believe which is really hot i have super super thick hair it's insane now i actually showered not too long ago and i dried it using that revlon like hair dryer brush um, i'm trying to figure out the best techniques for that so i can do a review on that but so far i like it a lot um, if I don't strain my hair and I leave it like this, it will stay like this. It'll just flatten out a little bit and it'll stay straight for a couple days, which is insane. If I use that brush blow dryer and this, my hair will stay straight for a long time. So let's get right to it. But this is little noise that makes. When my husband heard that, he was like, what the heck was that? So it's really cute. And it, I have it up to, oh look, it's already getting hot. It's going up already. Sorry about my nails, I'm trying to keep my nails natural for a little bit. But see, and I have it to 450, so let's see. So while that is getting hot, what I like to do is I'll um, use a clip to part my hair. So I'll just do like this crown here. Oh, I should have brought a brush, but it's okay. So I'll just part this part here. Oh, did you guys hear that? It's ready. That was fast. So it's actually at 370s. Let me see if it goes higher. Yeah, it does go higher. The highest, okay, so the highest it goes is 425. And it gets hot fast. I'm gonna keep it at 375. Does anyone else have really thick hair? And like, how do you manage it? because I hate like getting my hair ready. Like it's a process. So let's start with these pieces here. So what I'll do is I'll just start at the root and then just give it a quick little one like that. I've been straining my hair with, um, with strainers. I mean, I'm sorry, I've been curling my hair with strainers for such a long time. Let's see. See? This one's not that bad. What other tools do you guys use? Um, I've tried the wand. I really like how the curl looks with the wand, but ugh, it's just so like tedious. But I mean, after you do it for a while, I'm sure it gets a lot better. But sometimes, guys, I just get really lazy. Like, I don't want to then like another 40 after i dry my hair let it air dry for a little bit dry it and then use the wand the wand just takes a little bit longer with this i can probably do this um curl my hair with this in like 30 minutes maybe less depending actually i look like a dent right here i'll have to fix that it's okay Guys, so I've actually took a break from uh, YouTube. I have a reaction channel where I was always reacting, uh, but I got COVID back in December and it really messed me up, like really bad. I'm barely recovering from December. I barely got my, um, my smell back, maybe like three weeks ago now. And it's insane, like I couldn't smell anything. And then one day, Three weeks ago i was at the grocery store and i could smell peaches and oh my gosh it smells so good i know that sounds so weird but i just took that for granted it's insane like smelling like things that are super good i forgot what that was like and i barely got the sense of my smell back it's insane i was having a lot of problems breathing um i would get shortness of breath i actually tried recording a couple videos a couple months ago and i just couldn't i would talk and then you would just see me like starting to breathe hard. So I didn't, I mean, I wasn't really feeling good, but I feel like this been about, ever since I got my sense of smell back, I just feel like I'm starting to feel a lot better and my breathing has gone 
gotten, my breathing has gotten a lot better too. And I'm just being more positive now. I was in a very negative state. Um, so that's why I just had to take a break from everything. Even, I even um, like deactivated my Instagram account. So I have like some friends messaging me, like text messages saying, hey, like I noticed your, your Instagram is deactivated, not deactivated, it's I deleted my account. I was like, no, I just need a break. Cause sometimes guys, comment, comment if you agree. Like Instagram can just be, I don't know, sometimes very draining, mentally draining, right? Cause all you see, all I was seeing was like negative posts, like media news, negativity. And like, I honestly, I don't need negativity right now. When you're not doing well, and when you are obviously not feeling well, and your mental state is just not the best, you don't need any more negativity from anybody. It doesn't, you don't, doesn't matter who it is. If it's your family, if it's your friends, you just don't need it. And it's okay to step back and say, you know what, I just, I'm gonna take a break. I don't need it. Only you know what's best for yourself. That's it, only you. Um, so don't feel like you have to, I don't know, like keep up a front if you're not doing well, cause you don't. You don't know it to anybody. You can just disappear and not tell anybody why you're no longer on social media. And then when you feel like you want to be on social media again, you can just return. So that's a cool thing about Instagram that you can deactivate your account. So everything's still there, but if someone searches for you or if someone tries to go to your profile, it's not there. But all your pictures, all your posts, everything is there. So to activate it, you just have to log in and that's it. And your account's there. So I think I'll be activating my account soon. I think it's been about maybe a month. I think a month that I haven't been on Instagram and I actually like it a lot. It's just nice. I don't know. It's just, it's just refreshing. But now my new addiction is TikTok and oh my gosh, one of my friends would send me a million TikToks and I was like, what the heck is you, what is up with you in TikTok? I thought it was like a little kid thing and I thought it was just for like little kids to dance. So I was like, yeah, I'm not like a little kid, so I don't need TikTok. But guys, you learn so much from TikTok. So I'm on TikTok, so go and follow me. I love it. It's uh, honestly just making me happy and like I'm doing dance videos and it's just mentally keeping me like just happy and positive. So follow me there if you haven't already. Comment down below and let me know what is the thing that you do when you just need to escape and you just need to breathe and just have some time for yourself. What do you like to do? I know some friends like to do like yoga. Um, I love to do Zumba, but I couldn't even do that. I still can't do that because I have, um, I'll start getting shortness of breath depending on how much I'm doing. And guys, I have like this weird pain in my chest that um, the doctors are saying it's inflammation from COVID and like my, like the lining of my lungs or something like that. And it just gets worse if I do, if I'm more active. So, I can do a little bit, like with my little videos that I post of dancing. Um, I can do that, I can tolerate that. But let's say if I, I tired running a little bit earlier today and it just acts, acts up and this is really annoying. But I mean, it's getting a lot better because before I wouldn't even dare go on a run, which is so sad because I knew I couldn't do it. So see you guys, look at these little curls that I got going on here. So I actually cut my hair too, just a little bit. I was having like a lot, I had a lot of dead ends and I went to a different hairstylist. So she cut it for me. All right, so now what I like to do is I'll do the crown. Um, I'll just let go of one side here. And then the rest, I will pull it back up. I wish I had my brush. I should have got my brush. Getting my my hair done soon. My roots are just insane right now. So I'll do one little pass by because I can feel like it's fluffy, and then I'll turn it. There it goes. 
see. Oh, that one's a nice one. How do you guys feel about like everything opening back up? Because I actually liked wearing masks. You know, you don't have to do your makeup. I would just go in to the stores looking however I wanted. I wouldn't feel judged because I had a mask on. So I'm actually gonna miss that. Um, over here, I'm in California, and where I live, people still wear their masks, which is interesting. Um, and then you'll see people without a mask and everyone's just looking at them like, whoa, what are you doing? Where's your mask? So I think it's interesting. I know a lot of people are tired of the mask. I get it. Um, but you have to know that COVID is still out there and not everyone's vaccinated. And like me, I am still having lingering symptoms from COVID because I used to have asthma when I was a little girl and it just really messed me up. So I know some people think that COVID's like a fake thing, but it's not because I literally couldn't be active at all. Like my doctor only wanted me walking like 10 minutes a day because I couldn't breathe and I would run out of air. So I like that people are still wearing masks. I appreciate it, especially if you haven't gotten vaccinated. Um, because I don't, I wouldn't want you guys to go through what I had to go through and what I'm still having to go through because it really sucks. But one thing I am glad is I'm glad that things are opening up for businesses. Can you guys imagine like being a business owner and losing everything and not making any money, not being able to pay your rent? Oh my gosh, that's tough. So I am happy because of that, because the economy can pick itself back up. Ooh, look at that. Um, so that's good. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about everything opening up. Especially, well, here in the United States, because I know other countries, um, like I know like in India, they're not doing great. It's really bad. Um, and that, I'm so sorry for, for everybody there because it sucks i mean imagine living there and not having access to a vaccine not having access to help and just watching your loved ones pass away i can only imagine that i mean that's terrible so if you live in the u.s let me know how you feel about everything opening back up oh no what happened here let me do this one It's looking nice. Alexa, play 92.3. Alexa, 100%. Alexa, Volume 100%. Oh,
Okay, thank you, son. He comes over, and he's like, hey, baby, make me look good. And then the thing rolls out on stage, and I'm like, now I'm nervous. You gotta just have it. You gotta do this performance for him, and he comes and tells you, straight up, make me look good. Luckily, the performance is great, but I love it. And it was one of my all-time favorite performances, and it wasn't even on music. Well, because he's like, okay, I respect to the legend in his face. I mean, that's amazing. Yes, yes, man. As he was being inducted into the Hall of Fame, which, uh, I don't know how he didn't grand open that thing, but, yeah. Bro, so if you want a guy who's sitting out with that, you got a 49, and it's crazy, he's taking over. Everybody wants to talk your, you know, connection to country music. If you're sitting in there, he's saying, I have a single motion already up 10 minutes. Uh, here, you. What's happening, bro? And what if he was sitting out there, Bethany, that he's on here, right now, with me, you get a French Montana, because it's all that's with me, get a bag. You're 93 with me, and we can come back to the top. Little chain, cost more than a bitch. Put it here, bag. Put it here, bag. Put it here, bag. Don't don't let go. 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 Alexa, Alexa, stop playing. Okay guys, so I'm almost done. This piece here, like, I always have such a hard time with this side bang. If you guys have a side bang, let me know what you guys do with it. So usually I like to curl it outward or give it just like a little bit of a curl. This is like super hard doing it because I'm looking at my phone. I don't have a mirror in front of me, but I like to give it like a little, like, especially with, oh, there we go. Give it some volume. And then at the end, I'll put, um, I'll just put like some oil. So see this piece here, let me just go through with my, I like to go through my hair with my fingers or like a big um, comb and just separate like these little curls to make it more of like a wavier kind of look. And then I like going in like this and pulling down the roots because since my hair is so thick, it just helps with like poofiness, I guess, or the fluffiness, the volume it gives it. Let me see how the back looks. I'm sure it's here. So you guys tell me how the back looks. Okay, so sometimes also what I'll do is I'll go in if I have a mirror um, and grab some of these back pieces and do some more curls just so it doesn't look, um, I want it to look curly, like if I want it to look curly up here too, that's something else I'll do. But for right now, this is how I'm leaving my hair. Uh, I'm just gonna go put some product in it because I have all these little flyaways. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, if there's any other, oh, look at this piece right here. I gotta curl this real quick. Oh, don't you guys hate when that happens when you guys are curling a little piece and it doesn't want to curl? Let me let it blend in. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want me to check out any other, like, any hot tools, curling irons, let me know, leave me some comments, and I'll definitely do that. Um, I need some product in my hair. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this look. It's just a little curly look. I curl, I didn't curl, I curled the ends. I usually like to do that. Um, this hair this curls will probably say like this till tomorrow i just have to touch up a couple pieces but yeah let me know what you guys think all right guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye